Welcome back to the Warframe Beginner's Guide series. It took me a while to catch up to where we were previously and the things we'd already done. Obviously, we now have the Railjack available. You guys can progress that at your leisure for now. And I think because some of this gets kind of high level, kind of at the same rate that the rest of the system does, we'll leave this behind for now, and then we'll come back to it a little bit later on. Next things we need to do, we've got two Warframes on Eris to grab, and we have to go and grab Hydroid on Earth. Wow, well, pointing at the wrong place. Just over here as we go to Oro. This is required <laughs> to progress on to Sedna, which we'll need to do if we want to get Saren, which is a very strong Warframe. I'm going in here with Nova because I really like the Null Star build. I can't remember if I went over a proper build for Nova. Maybe I'll start doing some actual Warframe builds as we go forward. But either way, um, I start bringing in our Ignis Ray for this and whacking on the Null Star. That's going to make everything nice and easy. Obviously, we have slowing going on. There are a couple of mechanics we need to bear in mind as we go forward. Look at our lovely boy just here. It's so pretty, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching just so I can get some pictures. <laughs> I don't know why he makes me laugh, but he does. Alright, so... The thing we need to know as we're going forward is... Oh, that's a very nice little thing to uh, just grab along the way. Uh, basically, when we get to him in a second, he'll be invulnerable. And I suppose realistically, I shouldn't drop my slower until he starts broadcasting, right? So when he starts broadcasting, we should see in a second that he'll start, like, having, uh, like, sound waves coming out of his sides. Now, when he does that, he's now vulnerable on the head and on the vents on his backpack. Now... Obviously, it's a little bit easier for me to target with the Ignis Wraith, which is why we bought it. If you bring something a bit more precise, like, say, for example, the Soma or something like this, then it may well be slightly diff more difficult to target his stuff. And as you see there, the most opportune time to actually drop um, Nova's slow ability is whilst that event's open. I believe it lasts 10 seconds, his vulnerability. So you need to be on there quick, get him just slowed down so it's easier to target his weak points. Again, we've got to wait. A loop. Gone again. Going for the third one. We've got to do this three times before we actually get to fight him properly. Yeah, it's not very dangerous. There's way more dangerous stuff than this in the game. Yeah, so the next videos in the series are probably going to be quite um, quick and easy, I would have thought. Hello, mister. Come on, give me that. There we go, it's transmission. So we can either get him on the head, so he's facing us on the head. Or on the backpack when he's not facing us. That should be enough. And move on again. So we've done three times now. Should be way easier. As you can see, unless you have a very good regenerative or efficient frame for this, um, your warping powers probably aren't going to come into play too often. Limbo would be quite good though, so Limbo's fine. I think we got that in the series already. Um, but I, I, Nova's just so all round. I like. I kind of like using Nova. So first phase here, we have the same limitation. We've got to wait for him to start. There we go. Broadcasting and get him in the face. Once you've gotten him down, he's going to go and turn into a big chicken. There you go. That bit's obviously really easy. <laughs> like we could go I could try and go over some mechanics but with our Ignis we're just kind of laughing at him realistically speaking we'll let you loop time for us to extract so that we can see that we are going to be getting hydroid parts here so you may want to put this into public run it a few times um, I don't know if that makes it any quicker or slower for you entirely up to you but yes yeah, definitely want to keep on rerunning re this until we get all of hydroid's parts 
so that you have a, another new Warframe to treat yourself to as you are progressing through the game. Next up, we're going to go over Jorda's Precept. We should all have... Um, we should all have the Grattler. We should all have access to different Arcwings. And we all have access to Eris. So I'll catch you guys very shortly for that.